hey guys so today i want to share another keyword research tool with you all it is a very popular tool named moz now moz has been around for a while now and i just want you guys to know one thing and that is just because a tool has been around for a while and do a lot of marketing doesn't mean that it is a must-have tool to rank your website as i had opinions about Atref, i have about similar opinions about moz Moz is a very good tool for people who want to do this for a living. All right, if you got one website or two websites, you don't necessarily need Moz unless it's a very competitive niche. So there are a lot of similar features on Moz as we saw on Atref. There are not a whole lot of difference actually. As you can see, it's a keyword explorer. So I, I'm on exactly keyword explorer. So I'm gonna show you what the keyword explorer do. I'm gonna just search for cat. I'm going to just analyze this. So now it has given me the difficulty, the organic CTR, priority, monthly volume, and it is giving me the monthly volumes also, the SERP analysis. So I can just here for see all the suggestions, keyword suggestions. Let's see. So this is, a, I just logged in and it has given me 10 queries up till some date. I think it's a three day trial or something like that. I genuinely think that the keyword research tools are only good for people who have either very good writing ability or they got really good content writers because nowadays just because you know a winning tool doesn't mean your website is gonna rank it's just it was never like that just, just knowing is not enough you you must have very good writers all right so let's just see as you can see the difficulty is written here This is all right so this is the list so we can just scroll down here we can see this is not giving us difficulty for all the keywords but there is the button for request difficulty so we can just check out the difficulty by requesting the difficulty for a keyword so this is as you can see here there is a rating to the low difficulty 1 to 39 40 to 60 moderate difficulty 60 to 100 high difficulty this is 47 so we can say it's moderately difficult so this is this is the very basic idea and many many tools can do the same thing and actually not really being uh, from the price point perspective also you, there are cheaper tools available in the market now i'm not saying moz is bad by any means moz is amazing and uh, you can use moz but at the end of the day it's just it's just high-end products so be be mindful of that fact so let's just talk about the pricing the pricing is actually very similar to atrip but actually very similar near atrip but cheap and <laughs> cheaper it's not it's not as much as because atrip was like 99 dollars this is 79 143 239 479 it is cheaper than atrip without a doubt but similar to Atrif. It's just like they are doing the very same marketing tactics. They are doing a lot of similar stuff. They got all the tutorials, you know, and everything and they got SEO experts and I love their companies from the perspective of they are giving a lot of industry insights and for people who want to run an agency or something like that, Moz is good. But there are tools that you can use to get similar data uh, on a cheaper price. I can tell you this and I hope that Moz, you know, reduce their prices or something because I really like Moz. And also Atrev. Atrev just, these guys are just, got the pricing is not something that everybody can afford. It is just, it is what it is. And uh, yeah, and not everybody got like $100 or even $80 to just spend on an SEO tool because then you have to pay the writers and everything. And there are a lot of expenses that comes with uh, running a blog. Nowadays, if you are in a competitive niche, you need a lot of resources in in sense of writers then maybe you need to buy some backlinks you need to buy some a lot of stuff like you need to buy some maybe a guest post spot or whatever you need to do you know maybe some promotions shout outs from some youtuber if you if you want to do that there are a lot of things you need to do so especially in competitive niches so i think that to keep a research tool is something that you need to not have and these subscriptions so this is a monthly tie so basically you need to pay it month by month and the blogs most definitely 
blogs don't just start paying from one month itself very less blogs can do that and very experienced bloggers can only do something like that it takes kind of six seven months to actually a blog to start paying significantly so it is what it is so this is what my review for most i recommend you to get some cheaper options when you are starting out but if you want to go for a professional one most can be a choice all right so that's all there is to it i will see you in the next one thank you